I think it's fascinating. I mean, you and I talk all the time, but I think it's fascinating the way that you pay attention to the weather, right? This is, this is me hearing your stories and hearing your backstory overall here at fiveparagraph.com and how you help other folks that are out there. If you haven't checked out Brian Tomlinson on LinkedIn, please check him out. Uh, I tell Brian all the time, he is a lightning rod for awesome people. So please, <laughs> well, go on, <laughs> please go on LinkedIn and check out Brian Tomlinson, okay? And check out some of the stuff that he's involved in. Check out his backstory, right? But I hear Brian loves outdoors, all right? Brian spent a lot of time outdoors. Uh, he did a lot of different things as far as project management, as far as infrastructure. However, I know that Las Vegas is not necessarily his favorite place on earth. <laughs> That's sure right. Is it mine, <laughs> by the way. I'd rather spend time out in the woods, thank you, rather than another desert. Absolutely. Uh, right. Uh, but but also it it curls into what you had to do with concrete because weather play is such a huge factor in the laying oh. out concrete. And we talk about Met T T S L, yep. right? Mission Enemy Team Support Terrain and Weather, Time, Space, and Logistics. We talk about that first and and straight away right there in the book if you haven't already downloaded the template by the way go to fiveparagraph.com download the template see what we're talking about here so that you have a better understanding go ahead listen through our tutorials maybe even schedule the 15 minute phone call maybe even just join the 5 p inner circle so that way you can see the long form interview of what you're seeing right here with brian tomlinson but all right so getting back to brian tomlinson with five paragraph business plan concrete weather other variables that go into it what are we talking about here when you're owning and operating a, a concrete contracting business well um for one i can't iterate enough and just like any in any business or organization timing you know managing your time is it's it's essential to everything else that comes beyond that point to making the money um, you know, figuring out where you're most effective um, in your own respect as a business owner and leader, and then being able to delegate those responsibilities to your team, uh, to other people, whether you're subcontracting or outsourcing work, be it in other businesses or industries. Um, all these things carry over. <clears throat> and with the thing about, with like the weather, Here's the thing that I've noticed, and not just in construction, but especially because everything you do is hinged on it. Um, it affects every aspect of logistics and people's ability to work. Now, even if you're in an office, inclement and weather, you know, will shut a business down, especially here in the South. Whether it's two inches of snow, the wind blows too hard, you get a lot of rain, people can't function. It's becoming more and more difficult because traffic patterns are so overcrowded now. Um, and it's dangerous, but weather affects everything from shipping and supply lines to people's attitudes when they're at work. You know, you get really bad gray weather. People are going to be a little less productive. They're not as enthusiastic or energized to come in. Uh, and one of the aspects that, you know, and we and you talk about this all the time is inspirational leadership. You know, you don't have to be Mr. Uh, rainbow and sunshine all day every day for everybody that would be mentally exhausting and you know you're not responsible for other people's happiness right but just being able to offer some energy lending you know a degree of optimism and keeping people incentivized and invested into what they're doing uh you know because you and i work through these things these challenges as 5p has grown as it develops as we get more people communicating with us across LinkedIn, Facebook, social media, there's a buzz there because people are seeking what it is and some of them have it on the tip of their tongue. They don't know what it is. And, you know, identifying the problem opportunity that I've noticed most recently on LinkedIn uh, is that, is exactly inspirational leadership, um, being delegated to and learning how to delegate uh, downline as people grow and develop into their respective roles that they play with any business or organization um, and it applies it to nonprofits to everything